This film begins with Joy's presence in the mind of a child named Riley. Joy explains how Riley's head works. Joy is a happy emotion in the brain. If Joy presses a button, Riley will laugh or feel happy. From these emotional feelings, a memory ball is formed to store an event. The memory balls have colors that represent each feeling. Yellow memory balls indicate happy memories, and blue memory balls indicate sad memories. All of Riley's memories are neatly stored in short-term memory. Additionally, there are core memories that emerge from important events in Riley's life. These core memories form islands of personality within Riley. Riley has Luck Island, Happiness Island, Friendship Island, Honesty Island, and Family Island. These personality islands shape Riley into who she is. In this mind also helps Riley form his imagination. Riley has an imaginary friend named Bing Bong, and every moment is saved until Riley grows up. One day, Riley spent his time full of happiness. When Riley sleeps, all stored memories are transferred to the long-term memory of each personality island. However, Riley's parents suddenly sold their house. They had to move to San Francisco, leaving a city full of memories for Riley. After a long journey, Riley finally arrived at his new home. However, the new house did not meet his expectations. When Riley went inside, he felt unhappy and disappointed with his room, which created various feelings. Joy tries to keep Riley happy by imagining her room, and Riley starts to feel happy. However, the truck carrying their goods will be late arriving. Joy keeps trying to keep Riley happy, so Riley invites her mother to buy pizza. Unfortunately, the only thing sold is broccoli pizza. When they returned home, his mother asked what the most enjoyable moment was during the trip. Joy makes Riley remember happy moments, but suddenly the memories turn blue, and Riley feels sad. Apparently, sadness touches these memories and turns them into sad moments. Then, they passed a staircase with an island of happiness. Riley was about to slide down, but suddenly didn't slide. Turns out, the core of happy memories came out of the storage area so that the island of happiness turned out to be dead. Joy quickly reinserts the memory core and brings the island of happiness back to life. Sadness wanted to touch the core of the memory, but Joy prevented it. Sadness expresses her confused feelings, and Joy asks Sadness to find Joy. However, they both act in the opposite way. Sadness cries to reduce the burden of life. That day was lived with only a few pleasant memories. Disgust, Fear and anger agree that moving to San Francisco was a failure. Even though Joy tries to think of good things to keep Riley happy, the others disagree. Before bed, his mother came and thanked Riley for remaining a good and cheerful child. Riley felt happy and fell asleep. Now it's Joy's turn to stand guard as dream attendant, promising that tomorrow will be a great day. In the morning, Joy wakes the others up feeling happy. Today is the first day of school, and Joy gives assignments to each emotion. The train of thought came on time, but Joy forbade sadness to get out of the circle she had made. Joy doesn't want Riley to feel sad and ruin her fun day. Riley is very excited to go to his new school, but suddenly feels sad because sadness touches the ball of memories again. Joy and other emotions try to stop the memory, and Riley begins to cry. When other emotions are busy, Sadness presses a control button that creates a blue memory core. Joy immediately prevented the memory core from entering storage. However, when Joy tries to move the blue memory ball to the long-term memory, Sadness gets in the way and accidentally knocks over all the memory cores. As a result, Riley's personality islands are extinguished. Joy puts the memory core back together, but sees Sadness put the blue memory core back. Joy returns to prevent it but blue memories accidentally enter long-term memory. One of Riley's core happy memories is also sucked in, but Joy manages to catch it. When Joy tries to get out, sadness is sucked in, and all the core memories go into long-term memory. Riley, who lost all core memories, looked confused. Joy and sadness arrive in long-term memory, seeing all of Riley's personality islands extinguished. They both look for a way back to the center of the mind. Without Joy's presence, Riley cannot feel happiness. 
When her mother talks to Riley, disgust, fear, and anger try to make her happy, but they fail. His father also tried to talk to Riley, but seeing his disrespectful response due to being controlled by anger, his father got angry and told Riley to go to his room. On the other hand, Joy invited Sadness to go to the center via the fastest way. However, the path is very dangerous because if they fall, they will enter the memory dump, which means they will be forgotten forever. Riley's father comes into the room to make up and tries to comfort Riley. However, because the island of happiness died, Riley did not respond to his father's invitation, so the island of happiness began to disintegrate. Joy and Sadness tried to get off the island, and fortunately they managed to survive. Riley's father came out of the room. Joy saw the island of happiness destroyed and plunged into the abyss of memory. Since the island of happiness has been destroyed, it means that the other islands could also be destroyed. Joy invites Sadness to take a long road and asks Sadness to be her guide. There, Sadness feels too sad to walk, so Joy drags Sadness along. After walking for a long time, they had not arrived yet. Soon, Joy heard the officers thinking and came to them. The mind officers are tasked with getting rid of memories that Riley no longer cares about, because they will fade. Joy tried to ask for directions to Friendship Island. On the other hand, Riley is on a video call with his best friend who is telling him about his new friend. Hearing that, anger got angry and controlled Riley, who ended up hanging up the video call and destroying Friendship Island. After meeting Bing Bong, Riley's imaginary friend, Bing Bong wants to help them return to the center of the mind. Bing Bong gives his imaginary bag to Joy to help carry the memory core. He also explains that they will board the train of thought to go to the center. They go to stations in the world of imagination, passing through dangerous abstract spaces. Unfortunately, they were late and missed the train. Finally, they decided to look for another station. There, they pass through a world of imagination, and Bing Bong shows them his rocket that will take them to the moon. Joy and her friends continued their journey to the train station. On the other hand, Riley takes part in the selection to join the new hockey team. Disgust and anger are confused because Hokey Island has gone out. Scary then collects all the memory balls about hockey, hoping to bring Hockey Island back to life. However, his efforts failed, and Riley was unable to play well. Seeing that, anger took control, making Riley feel angry, and finally quit the game. As a result of this incident, Hokey Island was destroyed. In the world of imagination, everything seems threatened and thrown into the memory dump. Bing Bong, Riley's imaginary friend, feels sad. Joy tries to cheer him up, but to no avail. Sadness then calms Bing Bong by talking, and this makes him cry, although he ultimately feels better. Joy was surprised, and they continued their journey until they found a train and immediately got on it. Scene changes, Riley is angry in his room. At the center of the mind, the situation was extremely chaotic. Anger suggests that Riley run away from home by convincing the other emotions to agree. Suddenly the train stops because Riley is asleep. Sadness suggests waking Riley up and they enter a dream world. Joy rejects the idea of scaring Riley and chooses to show him something fun. They wear dog costumes and entrust the memory bag to Bing Bong. However, Riley showed no signs of waking up. Costumes are torn and Joy and Sadness look scary. Riley finally shows signs of waking up and the officers realize their attempt to wake Riley and arrest Bing Bong. Bing Bong is taken to the subconscious chamber, and Joy and Sadness deliberately surrender themselves to enter and find Bing Bong. There, they find Bing Bong caged over the body of a sleeping clown. Joy tries to free him and retrieve the memory core, managing to escape without waking the clown. Since they still had to wake up Riley, they purposely woke up the clown and took him to the dream performance space. Instantly, Riley immediately woke up from his sleep and they rushed to board the train. On the other hand, anger and disgust felt annoyed because they couldn't sleep well. Anger again suggests the idea of running away from home and they start to agree. In order to return to Minnesota, anger controls Riley to steal her mother's credit card to buy bus tickets. 
On the train, they talked about the moments when Riley was with the team and his parents cheering him on. Sadness said that he also liked that moment because at that time Riley felt embarrassed because he made his team lose and wanted to leave the team. Meanwhile, Riley opens her mother's bag and steals a credit card, causing the island of honesty to be destroyed and the train they are on to crash. Fortunately, they can still be saved. The mind officer tells Joy that Riley is going to run away from home. After preparing his necessities, Riley left. Knowing that Joy goes to the family island, the only way to the center of the mind. Sadness sees that the family island will be destroyed and tries to stop Joy. Not far away, they found a memory channel that could take them to the center of the mind. Joy decides to enter the channel, but sees Sadness wanting to turn the memory core blue and tries to stop her. Joy finally leaves Sadness because Riley needs to be happy. Unfortunately, the memory channel was destroyed and Joy fell into a memory dump. Bing Bong, who tried to save Joy, also fell. There, Joy tries to get out of the memory dump, but Bing Bong tells her to stop because they have been forgotten. Then Joy sees Riley's blue memory core. Joy says that she just wants Riley to be happy. Joy rubbed the memory ball, and it was seen that the memory core which was originally yellow had changed to blue. Riley is sad and accompanied by his parents. Joy realizes that Riley's friends and her parents came because Riley was feeling sad. Joy decides that they have to get out of there. Then, he remembers Bing Bong's rocket and tries to find it by singing a song. Finally, Joy and Bing Bong find the rocket. They both tried to get out with the rocket, and after several failed attempts, they didn't give up. This time, Bing Bong sacrifices himself so the rocket can carry Joy to the top. Upon arrival, Joy realized that Bing Bong was not with her. Bing Bong makes Joy promise to take Riley to the moon before it fades away. When his mom and dad got home, they realized that Riley wasn't home. Riley turns off her cell phone during the call, and the family island begins to disintegrate. Riley had arrived at the bus station. Disgust, fear, and anger regret the idea of running away from home. Joy finds sadness, but Sadness is disappointed by Joy's previous words and flies away crying. Joy thought of the idea of returning to the center of the mind. On the other hand, disgust, scary, and anger still couldn't come up with this idea. The control buttons slowly turn black, so Riley chooses to keep running away and get on the bus. Disgust, scary, and anger started to panic because Riley couldn't feel anything anymore. Joy goes to a part of the imaginary world that is Riley's dream boyfriend. He made many replicas of his dream girlfriend and put them in imaginary bags. Then, Joy directed Sadness to fly towards the center of the mind. Joy herself went near Family Island and took out all the replicas of her dream boyfriend. Joe plans to jump on the trampoline on the Family Island and intends to catch Sadness. When Joy saw that Sadness was near the center of the mind, Joy jumped and managed to catch Sadness. Finally, they arrived at the center of the mind. Their disgust deliberately made Anger angry so that Anger let out fire. They used the fire to punch holes in the windows. Joy and Sadness make it back to the center of the mind. There, Joy realizes that the only one who can solve this situation is Sadness, because Riley needs her. Easily, Sadness got the idea out of Riley's head. For a moment, the control buttons returned to normal, and Riley decided to get off the bus and go straight home. When he got home, his parents immediately approached Riley. After that, Joy then handed over all the memories to Sadness. Sadness puts it down so it can come back to Riley's mind. So Riley starts crying and tells her parents that she misses her previous life. Her parents also express their longing for the old home and they hug. Sadness invites Joy to press the button together and Riley is seen smiling even though she is crying. This moment creates memories with varying emotional colors and brings back Family Island. After the incident, the memory core contains various emotions for each moment and creates more islands of personality within Riley. On the other hand, Riley again participates in hockey games with the support of his parents. And this is the end of this story.